Good evening, guys. Good evening, Good teacher. Evening. Good evening. How's life going on? It's going well. Good. I hope you're all doing great. So, guys, we reached to lesson five. This is our second week. And today's topic is about cooking and diet. I think this topic, uh, like girls like this topic more than boys. <clears throat> but we have some boys can cook too, right? Okay, so cooking and diet. All right, look at the pictures. Uh, you can understand more when you look at the picture. We have steaming, steaming. It means it's too hot and you can see the smoke. Look, you see the smoke? All right, this is steaming. And boiling, boiling, steaming, boiling, chopping. Okay, chopping, when you cut something like this, you can you can see in the picture, it's like uh, cutting. This is chopping. All right, try to remember those words because we will need to speak using those words. So we have steaming, boiling, chopping. All right, I chopped... Okay, I cho chopped the tomatoes. Is that clear, guys? You know the meaning now? Yes, it's clear. Okay, so steaming, boiling, chopping. And then we have cutting. Cutting is again a parcha kardina. Bake. But sorry. Yeah. Uh, cutting isn't the same as chopping. Yeah, but the, the, the cutting is different. Yani parcha parcha kardin wobrin. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Very teacher chopping bamane awana kash kash. It's the same brin parcha kardin kash kardin. How many are you mana? Yeah, only the kind of cutting is different. Juri and Jawaza. All right. You cut it means you uh, tear it into two pieces. But chopping, you would do like this the picture. Then have parts of parts cutting, okuli aibri. Cutting aibri, chopping parts of parts of Claire? Yes. Okay. Yes. In the other slides, we will have examples and you will know what is the difference between them. And we have bake, you know, bake. I baked the cake this morning. I baked the cake this morning. Okay. All right. We have grilled. Try to, uh, try to pronounce them correctly. Grilled. Okay, Sli slicing or slicing, yeah. Peel, peel. Okay, peel means uh, all right. Slicing, as you can see in the picture. Okay, we have slicing, grilled. You know what's grilled? Uh, it means when you just Burning something. Aha, ibrjenit, ibrjenit, and slicing kashkurden, as you can see in the picture, peeling or peel, cheklake pakakito. All right, we will need those words when we uh, just try to cook something. In the other slides, we will use them in examples, and I'll give you examples too in the same time. 
Like for example, I peeled the orange. I sliced the, the pizza, a piece of pizza, okay? I grilled the beef or the meat. Fry, <clears throat> fry, surkirna, okay, frying. We have the frying pot, aha, makli surkirna, peeling, frying pot. Taste, you know, taste. Tamkirdan. Okay. Minced. Latiaka oku oku kima. Minced. We have great. This great sounds like the great. G E A R T. Saying great, but the spelling is different. Okay, great dorne, as you can see in the picture. See, she uh, grated the potatoes or the potato and whisk. Whisk. This is whisk. This tool is kind of tool to mix things together. Girls, do you use Yes. Them? Do you use whisk when you want to mix, mix something? Yeah, and we have need, need, all right. Okushelan, this is need, okay. And break an egg, you know, as you can see in the picture, break an egg, all right? It, it's easy, I know, it doesn't need to translate it. And stir, stir, drain, drain we have receipt receipt for cottage pie you know what's receipt receipt means it's like a leaflet everything is written in it cottage pie is kind of food cottage pie all right so we have ingredients Ingredients. What do we have in it? Who can read it? Yes, Muhammad. Muhammad, and mute your mic. I cannot hear you. Yes, Muhammad. Well, I can't hear you. Hamad, I can see you, but I cannot hear you. Okay. Teacher, uh, I'm using my sister's phone, okay? Is it okay? Yeah. I don't know what just happened. All right, but don't try to be so angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. Yeah, I saw you. I just want to. Okay, okay, never mind. All right, it's okay. You can do it. Peel, yeah, okay. Peel the potato and boil until just cook it. Then mash them with a butter, uh, butter, butter, uh, butter. butter yeah. Chop the, chop, uh, chop the onion and carrot. Fry, fry the meat and vegetables quickly. Then stir, stir the flo uh, floor and cook for one minute. One minute, you do. One minute. One minute. Uh, one minute and the stock, tomato, salt and paper, and let in the cook slowly for two. What's it? Two minutes. Then put in the large dish, covered with the mashed potato and some butter, and baking in a hot oven uh, for thirty minutes. Yeah. Or we can say half. Yeah. First, yes. Thank you, Muhammad. First, we have ingredients okay. like pekata kani. We have um, we have minced beef, we have a uh, potato, one large an onion, one carrot, two to three chopped tomatoes, and beef, okay, we have beef, ghosty manga, you know what's chopped, okay, I talked about chopped, uh, parcha krau, 
chopped tomatoes. All right. Large onion. You know what's that? Okay, that's easy. And minced. Okay, minced. Okay, minced. Okay, minced beef. All right. And stock one tablespoon. Tablespoon to um coach kitchen. All right, one one tablespoon of flour. Okay, add butter, salt, and pepper. You know those words are, are easy. So we have those things, pekatakan ingredients to just mix them and um just um to cook. What's that mean? Cottage pie. Okay, we have those ingredients to cook cottage pie. We have to peel the potato, all right? Peel, peel, peel or peeling, peel the potato. See, what a, to a potato. Peel the potato and boil until just cooked. Then now I'll be cooling it. Hata nermaveto, a cool. Then mash them with, with butter. Pashante kalideke legal butter panir. Chop the onion, chop the onion. Okay. What's the meaning of chopping? Parcha kirdin. Kata onion aka parcha ke onion, piaz, and carrot. Jaza. Fry the meat. Pashan gostaka surakito and vegetables. And quickly. Then stir in the floor, in the floor, and cook for one minute. Take a little bit of 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 a little and let it all cook slowly for 20 minutes. Then put it in a large dish, dish cup, co cover with mashed potato, mashed um, okubule, uh, mashed kurdun. Yeah. Yes. With uh, mashed potato and some butter. In jabi kulene bake, bake uku aikide na forn, forni keka wa awani kekile akulene as kulandini shiupe yalen cook. All right, e keku awanash now forn pe yale bake. Her du kulan jaz, but in Kurdish we use only one word, but in English, teacher, different words. Yeah. Uh, sorry, bake bes lebo hayir kari ba kardi o zahar sibitin, masalan kek bitin, yan her shtech ke bitin, masalan pizza ana hu bake. Yeah. Okutum hash tebu chetana for now. Flour. Where is the word? Mash some butter and bake. Okay. In a hot oven for 30 minutes. New saat ekureni. All right. So you will talk about things like this. For your homeworks, guys, write down the ingredients. Like the, you have it in the yellow part, the left side. Write down the ingredients and try to explain things, what you want to cook, what you want to bake, anything you like. Write down the ingredients and explain how you cook it, how you bake it. All right? This is your homework. About this... Uh... Yeah. Yes, Mr. Maid. Uh, sorry. Uh, what about ingredients? About same uh, this food? Um, no, anything you, you want to cook, you want to bake, anything you like. So it depends on what you cook. I was I was I was hot. I'm a decade. Just like okay, that's a marigold. Spider making this soup. Only soup. 
Yeah. So try to oh. just cook something, write down the e ingredients and explain how you cook it. Just like you are peeling, you are chopping, you are cutting, you are for how many minutes. Okay, you'll bake it, then you will mash it, anything you want. Try to use those new words in it. In it. Yes, Mehesh, do you have any question? Yes, teacher. Teacher, we will do it by voice or by video. Okay. It's not by a video. Uh, it will be a little bit hard, okay, because boys cannot do it. Uh, all right. If you like it, uh, write it down, guys. That's better. Okay. So this is your homework. Okay. Write it down. Okay. Yes, let's go on. We have some questions and I want to... Tanya? Tanya, can you hear me? Tanya? Yes. Uh, can you please yes. answer the first question? Sorry? Can you answer the first question? How often do you cook? Do you know how to cook? Yes. All right. How, how often do you cook? Usually or... Uh, I cook... Uh... I cook greatly uh, often, basically every day. Every day. All right. Yes. You like cooking? Yes, I like. Okay, don't, don't only say yes and no. <laughs> Speak. I like, uh, yes, I like to prepare uh, cooking. Uh, I know every uh, uh, cooking. Okay, what what are the things you cook the most? Um, uh, prepare. Yeah. Uh, uh, dolma and rice and beans and uh, the uh, uh, pizza right. yeah. and uh, different types of chicken. Good. And yes. a lot. But, uh, and uh, different types of uh, uh, beef mm -hmm. or meat. Would you fry the meat or you don't like it? A meat? Yeah. I like uh, chicken than meat. No, I'm saying, would you fry it? You know what's frying? No. Surya Keitoa? Yes, sometimes. Okay, I would like to fry it every time, you know, because when I don't fry it, I feel it's like it smells. Um, I don't like the smell. Yes, but uh, yes, uh, uh, sorry. Sometimes uh, I am uh, frying, uh, and after frying, and I put it in the oven with oh. potatoes and tomatoes. Uh huh. You will change the taste with rice. Yes. Good. That's good. So it will, um, the taste will be, uh, it will be more tastier. Yes. Okay, Tanya. Thank you so much. And how good you. are you at cooking? Yes. I want someone, Dunya. First, let me ask girls, guys. Girls <laughs> know how to. Yes, yes Dunya. How good are you at cooking? Really, I'm very bad at cooking at cooking because I didn't like uh, cooking and I didn't have much time for oh. this. So yeah, I depend my mother my mother for cooking. Okay, so what would you do when you are alone at home? For example, I deliver something or I eat the cake or something, anything. Okay, what you I didn't want to cook. <laughs> yeah. All right, we have girls don't like to cook and we have guys, yeah. boys, really love to cook. Uh, it's the opposite. Yeah. Okay, so what you deliver is the fast food. 
and when you deliver fast food every day, it will harm you. Yeah, of course. So it's it's bad for your health. Yeah, but it's not all the time. Sometimes that my mother isn't uh, at home. Okay, what will happen yeah. where there's no mother? <laughs> And that time, I would think for another, another thing. All right, you have to try, you know? Isn't that enough? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's really enjoying uh, when you try to cook something by your hands. And it tastes really what you, I mean, every, our flavor are different. For example. But really, for me, it's opposite. When I oh. cook something, I don't like it I, uh, till I didn't eat it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh, well, I said that's the opposite. When girls do not like it and boys like it. Yeah. And, okay, for the future, you have to. Because you'll get married and you will have children. Your children. Maybe. maybe <laughs> yeah, Dunya? I said maybe my husband uh, can cook. Oh my God. So try Mr. to find Dobby. someone at the restaurant, okay? Yeah, yeah, I should. Okay. Yes, Dunya, thank you. Well, thank you. inshallah, you will learn. It's not something hard. Try to mix everything and it turns out something else, all right? Easily. Yeah. Um, okay. The next question What are some things that you can cook? I think I. I have to ask this one. Okay, Mihir don't know how to cook even. Mihir? Yes, teacher. Okay, what would you like to eat? Mm, fish. Fish? Okay, why, yes. why would you like fish? Is it good for your health? Yes, of course. Like what? And like there's a protein of the fish and uh... oh yeah good and who is the better cooker your mother or your grandmother which one cooked the best my mother oh really yes okay why does it taste nicer or what They are both of are great, but I like my mom. Uh, she's making like uh, fingers or that. Tasty. I don't know. She... Yes, teacher. Good, Meher. Thank you. You're yes, welcome. um, Mr. Sahib is not here. Mr. Sarhat. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you think you can cook better than your mother? Well, for me, it has been, for me, I, I, I have been in five years in dorms, so I know how to cook very well. Oh, great. You know, that's the opposite. Yeah. Guys know how to yeah. cook and girls don't know. Yeah, because since I have been in dorm five years, so that's why I know to cook very well. Yeah, because when you are alone, you, uh, you have to just cook something yes. for yourself. Yeah. Okay, so. So it was long. Yeah, okay. What are some things you can cook? Well, for me, I was cook. I know almost everything to cook, like rice. I don't know which kind of food. Oh, so right. I know so many foods. Yeah, I can rely on myself. That's good. Do you know how to cook dolma? Yeah. <laughs> Your girls like dolma. Mr. Sarhat? Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah. Yes, what teacher. Happened? What happened? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Pardon. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. I received a call. Someone's called me All right, on my that's phone. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what are so, some foods what, you can cook, like dolma? Can you cook dolma? Cook dolma is so hard for me because I have never tried and also I don't like dolma. Yeah, only girls can cook dolma. 
not boys. No, it is not, it is not matter of uh, girls can cook dolma or not. It is matter of that uh, if you want to do something, you can do it. So I yeah. don't want to cook dolma. That's why. Yeah. I know, but uh, you know what? Uh, girls loves to do the most in cooking, like cutting, peeling, okay, chopping, frying, everything in it, and then cook. But boys want only one kind of food. Is that right? I can't agree with you. No, I cannot agree with you. All right, maybe you're different. Yeah, because if uh, there's so many friends uh, that go, they go gym and they always uh, cook for, for themselves um, because uh, they want to have less kilocalorie in foods and yes. some yeah other points that need to be considered while cooking okay yeah good yeah but usually when you are out not home or yes. living somewhere else you cannot cook uh the hard things like kufta like dolma and yeah, yeah we have those kind of kurdish words kurdish foods we cannot cook yeah. them we can cook the easiest one like frying potatoes tomatoes all right frying meat. yeah it when you have companions, you can cook dolma, but when you are alone, so it's, it, will not need, it will not need that hard work to make yeah. dolma for, for only yourself. Yeah, Yeah, you have to be alone, like two and three people. Yes, Mr. Samyan. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Samyan. Okay, Mr. Teacher, if it's okay, my class is really not good for speaking so it's so uh, if it's okay for you i just want to listen for today why is that because my place there's so, there's so a lot of people and some news just i want to participate in listening all right but you have to participate at the end not now at the end okay, okay. all right yes mr Mayer. welcome yes so, okay, do you know how to cook? Mr. Mayed? What? Uh, sorry? Can you cook? Yes. Yes, uh, I'm uh, in the past time. In uh, two th 2010. Yeah. I was a uh, cook. Because uh, I am in uh, internal department, it means some daffili. Yeah. I'm cooking rice every time. All right. So you know how to cook rice? Yes. Good. Uh, rice and uh, soup. Soup and rice. Well, that's, uh, that's something all Kurdish should have it every day. When we have soup and rice every day, uh, we feel like we are just on, um, we had everything. We we are full. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, okay, do you think uh, you can cook better than your mother? Like your soup and rice is, tastes like tastes better than your mother? No, no, my mother perfect for cooking. Yeah, I think so too. We cannot, yes. uh, okay, uh, I only think like my mother just learned me in, to cook soup and rice. Why my soup and rice is different than hers? It's like a question. My, uh, the, the soup and rice of mine tastes different than hers. And the reason, I don't know. He told me to, to just cook it. So everyone's favor flavor is different, even if you cook the yes. same. All right, guys, let's move on. We have who needs to diet. You know what's diet, yeah? What do you mean? Yeah, the food that 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 is healthy. All right, uh, it's health, uh, healthy for you to eat, like vegetables, fruit, 
the food that won't make you fat. Yes, Muhammad. Muhammad, you raised your hand. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, diet means regime. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you no, you eat no, you eat something to to not make you fat kind of food that is healthy for you. This is diet, but when you are on a diet, <laughs> when you eat something, yeah. Sorry. Uh, what about the uh, Lucy diet? Sorry? What's mean? Lucy diet. Diet Lucy. Which one? Is it here? Which one? Uh, yes. It is uh, free for sugar. 50 diet? Yes. Lucy diet or zero Lucy or zero Coca Cola. Uh -huh. Those kind of diets. Okay, I don't know if they are healthy or not, but if it's free of sugar, it is healthy. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. So, uh, who can read this one? Uh, yes. Mihir, can you read it? Never go on a diet. It's it's a it's a waste. It's a waste of time. Diets, diets list all the food that's good for you, but a few people can keep them up. I haven't put on a week in 20 years. Here, here is in 20 years. Here is why. Yeah. So it's talking about like being on a diet is a waste of time, guys. It says that. It's good for you, but few people can keep them up. But I am not going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to put on wheat in 20 years. Here is why. But I'm going to say that I'm going to say Here is why. Okay. Okay, so we were talking about I never go on a diet and he's, he thinks that it's a waste of time and he just hasn't put on we weight in 20 years. Let's know how and why. All right. Okay. Yes, Mr. Mu'ayyad, can you read it? Yes. I never go on a diet. Uh, it is a waste of time. Um, no, I just, uh, Mr. Yes. Mu'ayyad, this one, this, uh, can you see the screen? I eat uh, almost? Yeah. Okay. I eat uh, almost uh, anything uh, I like, uh, but I don't uh, eat a lot. And I don't eat uh, junk food. Mm -hmm. uh, I drink uh, plenty of yeah. water. It yeah. is better for you than uh, easy drinks. Uh, yeah. A cheaper too. Uh, I avoid uh, snacks between uh, meals because uh, most, most, of them are cutting. All right. I have uh, I have cut down on uh, the amount of food I eat in the evening. I get plenty of exercise. Ex exercise. Exercise. Yes, exercise. Yeah. So, uh, can you explain it? What you, What can you understand? He said, I, okay. I don't, uh, it, uh, being on a diet is a waste of time and I'm also not fat. So he's talking about the reasons why and how. He's talking about one, two, three, four, and five reasons. So tell me what are the things, your own words, like you read, explain it. Okay. 
uh, he said, uh, I eat almost anything, uh, everything uh, him uh, eating. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, and uh, he liked everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, don't eating uh, a lot. Yeah. The crazy pattern don't hold them for. Yeah, true. So almost anything. And yes, and I don't eat junk food. Yeah. I don't mean junk. Junk, what's mean? Junk food. Yes. Junk food. You know what's the meaning of junk food? It's its name. It's kind of. Or, uh, it's kind of uh, fast food, high yes. in calories and sugar, fat, okay, in protein, yes. vitamin, everything in it. And it yes. will make you fat. So that's why he never ate junk food. That's why he's not fat. So better to not have junk food, not have fast food. Like Dunya, do not deliver junk food anymore. You will get fat. Right? You said I will deliver food and I don't like to cook. Okay, you can eat anything, but not okay. the things that are okay. good for you. Yes, Mr. Ed, continue. The second continue? point. Okay. Yeah. I drink uh, plenty of water. Uh, it is better for uh, you than busy. Okay. Uh, it is uh, a good point for mm -hmm. my life or for us. It is uh, it is uh, yeah. drink water for more. It is okay, but not drinking uh, fizzy drinks. Yeah, fizzy drinks. It's mean it's mean like Pepsi, Coca Cola. Yeah, or everything. Uh, it have uh, uh, CO two. Yes. So and cheaper too, uh, yeah. and uh, cheaper of meat. Mm -hmm. Cheaper means uh, it's not yeah. expensive to have a, a plenty of water. Yeah, fizzy drinks will spend your time and will spend your money. Also, will spend your, like, it yes. will ma make you unhealthy. Not good for health. Yes. So, yes. Uh, okay, Mr. Maya, thank you. And then we have, yes, yeah, Mr. Serhat. Yes, teacher. Uh, we have the point number three, four, and five. We have someone yeah. said that I've never been on a diet. It's a waste of time, but I'm doing those yes. things that didn't make me fat. So tell yeah. start from point three. Okay, I avoid snacks between meals because most most of them are fattening. Fattening. Yeah. Oh, those most should be one most. I just didn't know how to. Yeah. I wrote two. Yeah. It must be one. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, in, so point number four, I have cut down, cut down on the amount of the food I eat in, in the evening. I get plenty of exercise yeah can you explain so, it yeah uh, she is she she is avoiding snacks because snacks are containing sugar and this can increasing mm -hmm. in the uh, that can increase the sugar in her body and and then that's why she is not going to be fat and she and the fourth point i have cut down that's it's i think it's mean that she have a limit yeah uh, limit uh, of food that she eats she have she has a limit at, at the evening yeah uh, and also she have uh, so many exercises that she uh, she have daily work and she does so many ex exercise she she has she has yeah she has yeah so uh, so Yes, guys, thank you. So uh, here is why he's never been on a diet and he's not fat. He almost eat everything, but not junk food. 
he drinks uh, plenty of water and he uh, he avoided snakes and he could cut down on amount of food and then he had plenty of exercise those are the points to not to do to not be fat and also not be on a diet so some people would be on a diet but cannot get away of eating junk food and uh, drinking fizzy drinks okay snakes and cannot cut down food and also even if you exercise you eat those things and you're on a diet you again i mean in the same time you cannot uh continue just being on diet and also just lose weight you cannot lose weight in in this like doing this okay do one of them either exercise and also cut down on amount, amount of the food uh, avoid the snake drink plenty of water avoid eating junk food those are the things even if you are not on a diet if you do those things those tips you will you you will not be fat is that clear so yes, teacher. it will be good yes. for you too if you try yes. if you want to just lose weight right do those things but not wasting time of being on a diet as he said it's a waste of time all right let's move on what does food mean to you we have some opinions of people that some people would say food is everything for me i when i cannot eat anything i cannot live and we have some other people would say uh, i don't eat uh, usually and i don't like food so what does food mean to you opinions of some people we have some people here giving their opinion yes muhammad can you read it muhammad can you hear me teacher i can yeah start reading the first one okay when I'm mean not eating, I seem to be easier cooking for buying food. So my life revolves around food. Yes. Yeah, so what does that mean? This is uh, her or his, I don't know, it's she or he. This is her or his opinion. It might be she. Sorry? Uh, she. Explain it in English. I said Mircea is a girl, so it means that she. It's a girl, okay. Yes, so okay. she. She said when I'm not eating, uh, she said when I'm not have any food or not eating, uh, I think uh, cooking, uh, what's it? Uh, I seems to be easier cooking for buying food. She said that's easier to cook, uh, it's easier than cook, uh, buying food. And it's revolving, uh, revolve. I don't know what does it mean. Revolves, revolves around food. Revolves around food. Yeah, she says when I'm not eating, when she's not eating, she seems to be easier to cook. Okay, means she's not too fat to not walk even. She when she doesn't eat anything, she would be easier to walk, to cook, or to go buy food. Okay, and her life, her life revolves around food. Revolves around means turns around. Okay, turns around. So when I'm not eating, I seem to be easier to cook or buying food. My life revolves around food. Turns around food. This word means turns around food. Revolves. So she cannot eat. Eating is something important for her. When she cannot eat, she, she will go to cook, buying food, and then will put everything around her food. All right. We have Kate. Yes, Dunya. Yes. We have Kate. Kate, I don't get the 
these people who live for food, I will, I usually just eat up something from a can or pick up a pick it up a, a takeaway. Mm -hmm. So what is that? She mean? talks about that those people who are just uh, working to buying their food. So we didn't the food isn't necessary that much in her life. Yeah. So he's just eating the simple thing. For example, take it away. Anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, I don't get these people. Get here means I don't understand these people. Okay, you can use get instead of understand. For example, Dunya, I couldn't get you, or Dunya, I couldn't understand you. This is this. They they have the same meaning. So. She says, I don't get these people who live for food. Okay, that means why people would, would just live for food. Food is not something necessary for her, as Dunya said. So what, what would she do? She usually just heats up some things. Heats up what tenha germia kato. germia kato. From a can of stein na kudun like fish, like beans. Uh, we have other things in a can. Or pick up a takeaway. Pick up a takeaway. All right, pick up when you choose something to eat. A takeaway, you can uh, just say, or you can just say remove away. Take away, remove away. All right, you know the meaning now? You, you are choosing to remove away. Choosing to remove away. Yeah. Let's go to have the opinion of Jay. Yes. Let me do. Uh, Tanya, can you read it? Yes. Yeah. Those are phrases. Jay, I... nice. Try to know how to use them. Yes, yes, Tanya, continue. Okay. Jay, I regularly, regularly go on a diet. So I really have to think about what I am eating. I have already given up chocolate. And at the moment, I am try, try, trying to cut down on my carbohydrate intake most yeah. of the time so i am star starving yeah so what does that mean was it important for him or not uh, jay uh, said uh, i regularly so i really you can say he and regularly yeah, he go. he regularly go on a diet uh, because Jay so, is a singular um, person you could say he regularly goes on a diet yes he regularly goes a, di a diet uh, uh, really Jay uh, think about it the eating, uh, uh -huh. Jay said, I'm uh, eating uh, uh, already, uh, eating. Giving chocolate. up chocolate. Giving up means not eating chocolate anymore. Uh, sorry, I don't know what the meaning of giving up. <laughs> I told you, not eating yes. chocolate anymore. Eat chocolate. So, yeah. Yes. So... He, because he's on a diet, he uh, he decided yes. to give up to give up eating chocolate. Give up means quasi yes. uh, And at the moment, uh, trying to cut down carbohydrate intake. Yeah, cut down means mm. losing weight. Yani. Uh, and in the Kishi, that was in it. Yeah, losing weight. Yeah, true. On my carbohydrate 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Take. Intake. Just like melting. Okay, melting fat. So, most of the time, he's star starving means uh, hungry, but very hungry. Okay, the difference between starving and hungry is that the level of being hungry in starving is a lot. It's very hungry, but hungry is normal. Normally, you are hungry. Okay, yes, Tanya, yes. thank you. Okay. So we have, okay, Mr. Sahib is not here. Yes, Mr. Sarhat, can you read the last one? Sorry. Okay, teacher. Ashley, Ashley I eat and I eat and eat, but I am still thin. As a rake, I guess I just burn off the calories with all exercise I get. Yeah. So uh, eating is yes. important for Ashley. Yes. So she is. She eats so much, but she still has. She does so many exercises. That's why she is thin. Yeah. So yep. thin as a rake. What does that mean? Salim? Yeah. Salim, that someone have. Yeah. Despite mm, eating a lot. Yeah, that's true. Despite eating a lot, she is still slim. So when you say slim, you can use this idiom, like thin as a rake. It gives the same meaning. Yeah. And burn off. Burn off Chauri's yeah. Uh, about meaning break. Break. Uh, it is uh, not meaning uh, about. For example, the skadar, for example, Yeah, alone it means that what you said, but it's like an idiom. It's like an idiom, thin as a rake. Yes. Okay. This is like an idiom. So, thin, okay. yeah, thin as a rake means very slim. In spite of eating a lot, she's still slim. Yes, Mr. Serha, thank you. I guess I just burn off the calories with all exercise I get. Ale abe exercise kan ta ko calorie chore ka busutenu. All right. So, uh, guys, there were a lot of phrasal verbs, idioms here. See, I just changed the color in, into color yellow. Right. Those are new words for you. Try to use them in a sentence. Just like you can say I eat a lot, but I'm still as thin as a rake. Okay, I need to burn off the calorie. I have to cut down my wheat. Okay, I have to give up eating chocolate. I have to go on a diet. I'm still starving. Those words you can use in a sentence you, by yourself, so like using them to not uh, forget it, to improve your English vocabularies. All right? Yeah. So let's move on. A healthy eating food of bread. He says, let, let's know what is a healthy eating food. We have something to read here. Yeah, who have to read it? I think you all participated. Dunya, can you read it? Yes, sir. Okay, read the first paragraph. Okay. Uh, I realized that I uh, have to put on weight uh, when, I, when my trousers started to feel a bit tough. But when I couldn't do up the jacket on my bed set, I knew right away it was the time to run over a new leaf uh, as far as food. 
was uh, considered. Anyway, I mentioned this to a friend who was sent me details of the internet dating program. I thought it's, uh, it was the worst trying, so I signed up for, for it. Yeah, <clears throat> good. So did you understand what you read? Teacher? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Dunya. <clears throat> Uh, talked about that he get uh, he his weight is being he's being fat so he's tried to uh, dieting so her her friend has uh, advised you to for a program that's uh, maybe in the internet yeah internet detailing program so he signed up for her to losing his weight yeah that's it yes Dunya thank you <laughs> so yes. But we have some new words like put on, all right? Put on, you can just uh, use it in wearing, okay? Or take on. But put on weight or weight. I had to put on weight when my trousers started to feel a bit tight, right? Uh, he thought that he had to lose weight a little bit because he felt that uh, he couldn't just uh, wear the trousers in his size. So he became fat. But when I couldn't do up, do up means when he couldn't do the, do like losing weight. When he couldn't losing weight. Do up means um, I couldn't do up the jacket. But here, by by just wearing the ja jacket, means lever color you can each wearing jacket. Like a lesser like a sweater. Like a carbon. I knew right away it was a time to turn over new leaf as far as food was concerned. Uh, okay, so he thought that he had to do something to lose weight. So turn over, okay, turn over. Anyway, I mentioned this to, to a friend. He told that to a friend and he told, his friend told to sign up uh, for having an interesting diet program. That's what happened. So yes, Muhammad, can you read the, the next paragraph? Uh, teacher, uh, I just said, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so which one should I read? The, the next paragraph. The, web the website, you mean this one, the website? Yes. Okay. The website sent me a quickly recipes of healthy diets, meals, but also recommend that I should cut down on the actual position size and obviously cut out junk food. Do it. Fizzy, fizzy drinks, the diet very uh, rigidly. What is this? Wriggled. I don't get this one. And after a while, the weight uh, start to fall off. I, combi I combined it with work out at the gym, but I, I, I know the diet was the main thing that helped. Okay, stop here. This is rigidly. Okay. Rigidly? Yeah. Rigid, what does it mean? Yeah, okay. Rigidly means tighten, button uh, db bastio. So you have to tighten something. Mm -hmm. Rigidly, okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, did you understand anything? Can you explain? Uh, yes, of course. Why not? Our teacher, I understand all. Yeah. It said the website sent me a quickly, like she, I think she needed recipes. So the website sent her recipes quickly. Yeah. Fast. Uh, the website sent her a recipe which is about healthy diet meals, healthy yeah. diet food. Mm hmm. Uh, but also it recommended that I should cut down the actual position size. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the paper they sent to her uh, written like uh, it said uh, she, she should cut down, she must cut down her actual position. 
like she must uh, get died in normal way. Yeah. And also junk food. She must uh, forget junk food. Mm -hmm. Sweets, fizzy drinks, and more. Yeah. Uh, it's hard going. Tisha, I didn't read this part. It's how it was hard going at first. Yeah, you immediately went too rigidly. Ah, uh, you did. You didn't hear me. Okay, no problem. Uh, it was hard at first because I changed the number. Okay, it said uh, at the first it was hard going, uh, because she changed her number of habits that I kept that I took. She changed her habits like. For example, before I think she ear rice, but now she don't. Okay, yes. Thank you, Muhammad. Really? It was good. Uh, yeah, it, it was, was good. Thank yeah. you. So uh, she could get a recipe from the website. It's written that she had to cut out and uh, cut down on on the size and also cut out. Cut out means um to stop eating those things. Like Muhammad said, to forget those things. All right? To never eat them anymore. Junk food, sweets, fizzy drinks, etc. All right? This, for example, I would say, like Mihir, you have to cut out eating junk food. All right? This is cut out. Also, cut down, the same meaning. Cut down, the same meaning. Right, cut down, come Kurnoya, cut out. I wish Quardini of Stana Bakami, Yawazli Hinani. And you can say give up, give up, cut down, cut out. We use all of them for stop eating something. All right, and it was hard at the first, okay, uh, changing the number of habits. It was hard to change the habits. Because the doctor said it takes more than uh, two, two months to just give up on a habit. It takes time. So that's why she says that it was hard first time changing the numbers of habits. And he, that she kept to doing. Okay, kept to. So it was hard for just giving up on those habits that she kept to. All right. Rizli means batundi, yani, um, doing them continuously. After a while, the weed started to fall off. Fall off means she lost the weight a little bit. And I combined it, it was working out and in Shteki Bajbo, worked out or working out at the gym, okay? And I know that the diet was the main thing that helped. So diet was good for her. It worked, All right? But, but, but for some people, diet is only a waste of time. It, it wouldn't work out. A normal meal now fills me up. Fills me up with a... Tera khom, ba ba jameki soup, jameki asai, fills me up. What a tera khom. So a normal meal now fills me up. So I'm not constantly looking for the extra snakes, um, and I'm going away on holidays next week. She had an all holiday. She want to show off her uh, her her body, her weight, her size size okay and having taking pictures so that's why she's talking about having the holiday to show off show of what a whole sandan my new image and show a new come i'm glad to face up to my problems what a 20 but rui kishakani veto um face up what a barubuna Rubarubuto and he said Serkoto Basarian. And that's all. So diet worked out for her. Guys, we have some questions here. That's why I want to just have time because it's 10:90. We have phrasal verbs to talk about. 
All right, that's why I read the last part. We have some questions like, have you ever been on a diet? Yes, Tanya. Tanya. Yes. Have you ever been on a diet? Mm, yes. Uh, I have uh, been on the diet sometimes. No, every time. Okay, why? Because my weight is... Uh, <laughs> Increase my weight and I am uh, a bit of fat. Yeah. So, which diet you used? What uh, other tips uh, you used? Uh, it, uh, uh, I eat healthy food and uh, uh, three days in the week I'm going to the, uh, do uh, exercise. Yeah, you went. You went yes. to do exercise. Yes. Good. But do you think exercising is enough? Only doing them? Like doing exercise is enough to lose weight? No. If, if you uh, know eat uh, healthy food and uh, plan for uh, uh, what did you eat, exercise is not enough. Yeah. So you have to have a plan. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. How do you know you, if you teacher. are welcome? If you are fat, and right, let me know who raised the hand. Yes, Meher. Yes, teacher. How do you know if you are fat? Easy drinks that then you know you are fat. Yeah, teacher, tell, tell me. Um, yeah, I can hear you. No wrong answer, teacher. No looking your tummy, teacher. By looking your tummy, um, Hamad, let her answer. Uh -huh, exactly. uh -huh, exactly. All right, I said me here, not you. Yes, teacher. So what else? I told you, teacher, if you eat a junk, a junk food or fizzy drinks. Yeah. So if you eat those things, they are unhealthy and you will get fat. That's fat, yes. Okay, Nir, thank you. Yeah. And you can see the figure of your body shape. You feel that you're fat, you had a lot of, you, you became chubby, you became overweight, okay? You see yourself that the size, the shape of your body changed. And what is the best way to diet, Mr. Serhat? Mr. Serhat? So, teacher, what is the best way to diet? Sorry, in fast food and junk food, uh, uh, to have more exercise and also to to have in your uh, to have less sugar in your meal. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Exercising also. Yeah. Also, it is uh, avoiding carbohydrate. Also, it can be useful. Yes. So avoiding junk food, exercising, drinking water. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you, Mr. Sehat. Uh, do you think dieting can be dangerous? Mr. Sam, you have to participate. Mr. Samyan. 
Answer the last question. Uh, the last one. Yeah. Do you think dating can be dangerous? Uh, I, I don't think so, really. Yeah. So because if you if you just eating a dating food, uh, that's not that doesn't mean you can your health is gonna bad. Uh, over the alcohol, how can you say? Um, yeah. It will be better for your health. Yes, as Mr. Samian said, so um, dieting can be dangerous sometimes because when you are dieting, you would not eat a lot of things um, that contain vitamins, okay, uh, sugar. When you have a little bit of sugar, it will be bad for you or not having vitamins. So you will stop eating useful things. Being on a diet will let you just stop eating useful things. That's why sometimes it's bad and dangerous. Try to not be on a diet a lot. When you need that it, it won't work out, stop being on a diet. Just try to eat healthy, okay? Uh, just give up on eating chocolate, snakes, uh, junk food, all right? Uh, eat, drink water a lot, eat vegetables, and have like do exercise too, you will feel healthy. Do not eat, eat much more. Yes, and we have your homework, phrasal verb. Breakdown means stop working. Lakarakavi and Ishnaka, all right? Breakdown. And bring up means um, when you just turn something back. Uh -huh. uh, for example, when you buy something, you don't like it and you bring it back. A bit a gorio. Garandnoa, gorinoa. Okay, turn something back. All right, those are the meanings. So, guys, this is your homework. And your homework, you have two homeworks here. Those phrasal verbs. Tell me the meaning and give some, some examples, two or three as you like. And then the other homework is uh, tell me when you want to cook anything. This slide, let me show you. Okay, wait a minute. All right, when you want to cook something, write down uh, how you cook it, the ingredients like this one pekatake and tunetilenani the ingredients and how you cook this is your second homework now you have three homeworks one of them is give an example the other is by sending your voice and this one is writing you have to write a man writing this slide you have to write it down okay guys so uh we the time is finished it's 10 30 and we have to end of the meeting i hope you just learn something guys it's it's like you will use those in daily life and you will need it so i hope you learn something in it and thank you for participating good night bye-bye good night good night bye-bye